This might be a bit easier for people to see, uh, to know how to program and, well not program, for. This might be a bit easier for people to see how I actually wire this up. Uh, on the right, I don't know if you can see this actually, <laughs> it's saying that. So on this one I've linked all the positives because it's going to be switch positive and I'll just tuck those down out of the way. Uh, this is the main positive wire. Now I've plugged the indicators in although you can't see, it's just those two um, those two there, that's the left and the right input for the indicators which goes to the switch. Uh, it's common negative and it's switch positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, where's my indicator? I can't remember which one's a bloody indicator now. We'll say that this one, we'll say, no, we'll say this one is the indicator or one of the indicators. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the positive wire and I'll put it into the middle pin and then I'll take the negative wire and link it directly to the battery. And I hope, because this is opto-isolated, obviously I'm going to need power to power the relays and also power for these, so I don't know how it's going to work. It won't blow up. <laughs> Well I can confirm that it does work if you link um, the power side to the Arduino side it's fine. As you can see that one's clicking and the indicator's coming on. Although it's a bit slow it's only there just to test it to make sure everything's working and it works so I'm well on my way now. Um, what am I doing next? I've got to do the other indicator obviously. Um, I've got to check the input on the indicators which is that side. Oh, it's getting there. Well after a bit of, a bit of fettling about, yeah, it hasn't taken too much to be honest. If I flip the indicator, so that's the left indicator. You can just about see in there that one's flashing up. Now the only thing is that I haven't done in the script is if I cancel it. <laughs> yeah. But that's only if I cancel it when it's switched on. Otherwise it's working perfectly. I can unplug that. So now I'm on my way. I can wire up the right indicator, or is that the left indicator, the right indicator, oh, it don't matter. So I've got to do that, um, and then it's just Arduino script to actually write, and then I can do all the wiring and fingers crossed, everything crossed, it's going to work perfectly, first time. Oh no, I want to recap, what the fuck, I want to recap uh, a few things that I've done. So. The switches are already fitted, as you can see, as you've seen, whatever. The speedo, which is still held on with a cable tie, which I've still got to, I've got to do the um, the mounting for it, and I don't know how to do it yet. But that's fitted and it's working, sort of. Uh, the tail lights, they're not finished yet. It's fitted, but it's not finished. Number one, it's wonky, and number two, it's not fitted properly. <laughs> I don't like that. That's the spring. It's actually the spring on the saddle. So I'm going to have to do some form of um, securing plate. I don't. I don't know yet. I'm not 100% on it. Uh, the mug guard, which has got to be dropped down. Bloody video the mug guard, if you're talking about it, Tony, you dickhead. The mug guard, I've got to drop that down some. Um, I'm going to try and heat it up just to see if I can get it down. It's got to have 8, eight, in, eight inch clearance between the top of that and that. And that's got to be with the suspension compressed. The back lights, the indicators have to be 180 millimeters or a minimum of 180 millimeters apart. 
Uh, that's 200 mil, I think it is. So that's plenty. Perfect. Although you can't see it very well, uh, I've still got to tidy all this wiring up. Don't worry. This is the main power wires off the regulator, which is in there, which has got to be connected to this. The reason why I've still got this in pieces is because I'm still testing it. I'm testing the code out to make sure it's robust enough and it works 100%. There are a load of wires. It'll all tidy up, don't worry. Uh, there's a battery down here which is used for testing, literally. Oh, look at that. That scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> it does go through, if I show you, look. It goes through a bit of a diagnostic thing. It just pulses all the, the LEDs in sequence. Um, I'm taking that off. It's just annoying me. So, left indicator and telltale fitted and working. Right indicator, telltale fitted and working. Side lights working. Headlight. That's dip beam, that works, main beam works, and the telltale's on there. Now what you've got to bear in mind when you're doing this Arduino thing, I'll put the code in the link, um, in the description, I'll put the link to the code in the description, that's the one Tony. Basically what you've got to do, you've got to think about things like, when the indicators are flashing and you press the horn, which does work, when the indicators are flashing, obviously it's going on a timed loop. You've got to bear in mind that you need, you still need the indicators, you still need the headlights and everything else to work while the indicators are on. That was a bit of a challenge. Well, no, it wasn't because I know what I was doing. But it will be a bit of a challenge. But hopefully the coding, the coding when somebody looks at it, you'll be able to understand how I've done what I've done. Uh, the breaker or the power, what's that called? Kill switch, that's the one. The kill switch obviously isn't fitted yet. Well, no, it's fitted, it's not wired up. Now you've got to have a stand. Although I'll never be getting off the bike and leaving it on a stand, it's still got to be fitted regardless. Now the original, the original stand that I got, I mounted it round there and then I thought, oh, it's got to come out a bit, so I tried to bend it and I snapped it off here. So I had to get another one, which has arrived, because there it is. I had to get someone at work to actually do me a bracket. So, thanks Mike, you know who you are. He's made me a back bracket that goes around the back. That bit there is a bit of a, a, bit of a cock up on my behalf, because I was trying to fit that. That's from the old bracket. So the stand's fitted and I don't like this. It's still a bit a bit low, but it stands on the stand. I don't <laughs> I don't like it. Um if you have a centre stand fitted, a centre stand has got to support the weight of one of the wheels. Either the front it's usually the front that comes off the ground but it has to support one of the wheels. If you have a side stand, it just has to support the weight of the bike in all steering positions. So if I pull that over onto the stand like that, and I turn my steering to full lock, it has to support the bike. It can't fall over if you have it on, you know. So it has to support it completely. Hang on, I need to pull it out a bit. That's what she said. Now the only thing I need to do, I've got to wire the back lights up yet um, and I'm going to have them on a removable uh, a quick release plug or something so as I can take them off in case I need to take the saddle off or, or anything like that. So that's what I'm going to do with those and then I can start wiring on that thing there. I want to get this ready, I want to get it done 100% and I want to get it roadworthy before I even try it. That's the idea. And I know it's taken a long time, but I've got a long time to waste. They're all the, uh, the wasted parts that I've been printing. In fact, it's not all of them. With things like 
this was one of the um, designs I did for the back lights, uh, but the indicators wouldn't fit in the hole there, so I had to make it a bit thicker. This is the first one I did, and I, I think I was drunk when I did it actually, because I didn't even make any consideration for indicators or nothing, that was just literally to hold the light, nothing else. And that one's working perfectly under there. So that's done. Also, the back brake, I've still got to change the caliper, that's, that's just loosely put on there. I've still got to change that for the Magora one, but that can wait for a bit. So the next job is get these wires here and try and find a multi-plug or something that I can put on. Um, and then I can wire it all up. Success! Brake lights. Fucking hold this camera. Indicator. Indicator. Side light. Headlight. Side light. Brake light. Indicator. Indicator. So it's all, all the uh, all the lighting's done. That's finished. I've still got to tidy everything up. It's still a mess. For somebody, somebody was asking, has that got a tail light? Has it got a number plate light? Yeah, it has. It's there, look. So that's done. Uh, what's next? The side stand's done. All the electrics are done. The headlights done, main beam works, and the back light stays on. Indicators. See, at every every single stage with this, when I wire something up, I have to make sure that it works with everything else. Because the worst thing you'll find out is it don't work on some things. So that's done. I can now start. I've got to turn it upside down, take the battery off, turn it upside down, and I can start wiring. The Sabvaton. So I'm going to start doing the main thing now. I've tidied the wires up a bit. A bit. <laughs> this is the GPS uh, decoder for the Speedo. Um, I've still got to do some final tidying on these things. They're all held together. They're fine, sort of. Um, I'm just doing the first part of the wiring, which is the kill switch. Now on this bunch of wire in here, there is a wire which is that one, which is called E-Lock to hold focus you fuck. This one here is called E-Lock 72 volts. Now this red wire, just this red wire, has to go to positive on the battery. What I've done is I've put a fly lead from the positive on the battery. That's going to go to one part, one side of the kill switch, and then the output from the kill switch is going to go onto that. That is essentially all you need to fire um, the controller up. You don't need anything else. So I'm going to do that. I don't know what I'm doing next, actually. <laughs> I've got a few other wires to sort out first. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I've just, uh, <laughs> I've just plugged the battery in and then hit the kill switch to see if anything comes on. Something! 